Today we're driving the 2022 Genesis G70. Finally getting behind the wheel of a proper spec in one of these cars. This has the 3.3 liter twin turbo V6, makes 365 horsepower, 376 pound feet of torque. That's mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. This one is all wheel drive. It has the sport package, the sport prestige package, Brembo brakes, 19 inch wheels, Michelin Pilot Sport tires, a limited slip rear differential. This is the Genesis G70 that you want. A couple years ago, I drove a base model two liter turbo manual car, and I gotta be honest, I wasn't impressed. I thought, what's all the hype for? Why is this getting awards left and right? Why is everyone praising it to the moon? Well, now I get it. This top trim G70 is really nice. They've made some updates for the 22 model year in terms of design, new rear fascia, new taillights, nicer looking headlights. I love what Genesis is doing with their front end these days. The grill, it's a lot of grill. There's a lot going on, but it's a beautiful shape. It's really eye-catching. This thing gets a lot of attention. And look at these headlights. I think these are gorgeous. Just a beautiful integration into the front bumper and uh, looks pretty sharp on these black 19-inch wheels too. Painted in this Havana red, it gets a lot of attention and uh, the good looks don't stop there. On the inside, we have a pretty cool design too. We've got, look at this, these seats. Red stitching all throughout, really nice materials, really nice build quality. This G70 is based on and similar to the Kia Stinger, but the build quality and everything on the inside feels so much nicer and more premium. Gone is the six-speed manual transmission for 2022, but honestly, I don't miss it. It wasn't very good, and I know Genesis can do better. Luckily, this eight-speed automatic that remains is a fantastic transmission made to this 3.3 liter V6. It drives awesome. We'll test that in a little bit on the road portion of this video. We've got a few different drive modes, Eco, Comfort, Sport Plus, and Custom. And when you put it into Sport, the seat bolsters tighten just a little bit. We have a digital rev counter on the right and a digital center gauge cluster in the middle that can show you a bunch of different things. Pretty minimal design, not a whole lot going on, very simple, nice cruise control buttons. Um, everything in here is very straightforward. You get in and you know immediately where everything should be. We have a beautiful 10.2 inch touchscreen. We've got pretty nice infotainment, all the usual stuff, sounds of nature, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, you've got this kind of calm screen here, which is fun. Maybe not as premium feeling, maybe not as luxurious and spacious in here as the G80 or G90, but it's not far off. And for the price, I think this starts around 43 grand and fully loaded at 54, including destination. That's an incredible price. One thing though, it doesn't have quite going for it is interior space. The front seat feels very spacious, but the trunk area is kind of tight. You do get a compact space saver spare tire down there though, but there's not a lot of room back here. The seats do fold down, but it's a pretty narrow pass through. And this is almost Cadillac ATS sized in the back. I think overall the vehicle's a little bit bigger, but it's a usable back seat. Maybe not as cramped, but it's still pretty tight back here. There's not a lot of room to put your feet under the seats. There's a little bit of knee room. I'm five foot 10 and uh, seated behind myself. I'm okay back here. I'm definitely comfortable and livable. If you have kids or uh, small friends, you'll be in good shape. And look at this, you can even adjust the passenger seat from the rear seat, a signature Genesis feature, all dating all the way back to the Hyundai Equus. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> We've got really nice cup holders with this uh, kind of aluminum-like surround. Very nice leather, all Napa, red seat belts, Alcantara headliner. Getting in and out is pretty easy, but you know, if you need more space, there's the G80. Let's take a look under the hood. Gets around 22 miles to the gallon combined, 25 on the highway. You could probably get closer to 30 on the highway if you're staying out of boost. Nice engine, sounds good, very smooth. Works really well with the eight-speed auto. Nice looking key fob, kind of a matte, rubbery, grippy material. 
Genesis has done a lot of work to get the details right in their cars, and it really pays off from the feel of the turn signal stock to the tactility of these buttons to the materials inside and out, all the leather, the surfaces that you touch the most, all of your touch points are good. There's some harder plastics here, but they're hidden away. You've got the airbag cover, you've got this top door panel, but everything else feels really nice. We've got a head-up display, a pretty nice looking reverse and surround camera situation, really high res. You can zoom in, zoom out, see all the way around you if you want. It'll switch to the forward-facing camera when you put it in drive after putting it in reverse. All right, let's take this Genesis G70 for a drive, see what it's like on the road, and uh, yeah, this thing should be fun. You have a really nice driving position. Steering wheel gets right up into your chest. Seat gets nice and low. I don't feel like I'm on top of this car. I feel like I am in it. Before we get started with today's drive, I would like to thank our sponsor for this video, Phantom Wallet. This is my daily wallet. It's a well-engineered product that I really have enjoyed using the last year or so. This is the Phantom R, it's their higher end model. You can bolt on a number of different attachments to the back. This is the key holder attachment, and uh, I really like this because it kind of combines everything that I need out of my wallet. I can hold my keys, I can have a money clip on the other side that I bolt on, hold some cash, and I can fan out all my cards like this. There are a number of different finishes, color choices, card capacities, pretty much customizable to anything that you need. Check them out at phantomwallet.com and use the code TOFER for 10% off your order. It's a very linear power band. It never really hits super hard at high revs, but it builds progressively. I love how neutral this chassis is. This is a rear biased all wheel drive system and you feel it. On throttle, the rear end starts to just kind of rotate beautifully. It never catches you out. It never really surprises you, but it's very approachable, very easy to drive and live with. The ride quality is excellent. This has adaptive dampers and they do a really nice job in each of their respective drive modes to give you comfortable ride quality, excellent handling, This is a fun car to drive too. The power is addictive. The traction from this all wheel drive system is pretty unflappable. Let's throw it into Sport Plus. This even turns traction control off and see what it's like to drive in a spirited manner. <laughs> A little bit of a drift from the rear end there. That's fun. You can fully disable traction and stability control. So that was just traction off, stability kicked in at the end there. I love how responsive these paddle shifters are. We don't get any shifting action down here by the shifter. It's all up to the paddles behind the wheel, but that's okay. This eight speed shifts impressively fast. Let's see what a zero to 60 launch control start feels like. Gets the job done in no time. are really nice drive modes. They're well calibrated, well differentiated. You get behind the wheel of this thing, you drive it every day, you put it in comfort mode, and yeah, maybe it gets a little boring, but flip of this drive mode selector and put it into Sport Plus, slide it around a couple corners, have some fun with the paddle shifters, and I think you've got a pretty good driver's car here. Let's test out these Brembo brakes. Little bit traction limited there. Launch controls ready. V6 
these Michelin tires have a decent amount of grip. I think that it's a good kind of overall balance between efficiency, ride comfort, quietness, performance. But uh, for the performance of this car and for the capability of the drivetrain and the chassis and the, all the drive system and everything, you'd probably want a slightly grippier summer tire on here if you wanted to get really everything out of your G70. Brake pedal feels nice, pretty positive, pretty firm. There's not a lot of steering feel, but there's enough. <laughs> Wasn't expecting an all-wheel drive slide out of this. That's awesome. Let's see how it does on this entrance ramp. drive system. <laughs> you can tell when a car has been tuned and calibrated by people who really know what they're doing and love driving. Genesis hasn't tried to make this safe and boring and dull behind the wheel in a performance mode. They figured it out. Yeah, you get a little bit of safe understeer in comfort mode, but in Sport Plus, this is just so sharp. I think I'd take this all-wheel drive over the rear-wheel drive car. It puts its power down so well, you can still have a little bit of fun with it. And um, yeah, maybe these tires aren't the grippiest tires out there, but they let you get a little bit, a little bit out of sorts on the street, and there's something to that. That's kind of fun. Sitting on the highway, we can engage cruise control and. Uh, Genesis's highway driving assist or the same system that Hyundai and Kia use. I found that this week the uh, the lane centering has been okay. It's not the best. Sometimes these lane centering systems vary between model to model, sometimes car to car. It does a nice job keeping you centered sometimes. Other times it's a little bit drunk. So, uh, you know, luckily you can easily turn this stuff on and off. I have it set so that whenever I engage cruise control, it doesn't automatically engage lane centering. There's a setting in the menus for that. There's a lot of customizability with this car, a lot of options and a lot of thoughtful stuff in these menus for some of the detailed stuff that you really want to customize in your car. Radar cruise control is great. The ergonomics controlling the cruise control are great. You can skip five mile an hour increments. Uh, engaging, disengaging is very straightforward and easy. On the highway, this is a super comfortable car. Virtually no wind noise. You get a little bit of tire noise from these Michelins, but it's not too bad. I think Genesis is one of the luxury brands that's doing the best job at integrating technology into their cars. The screens, the thoughtful displays, the responsiveness, and the user experience with everything in here has been really good for me this week. It's just integrated beautifully. It's been easy to live with. There's no pain points. And I think that's a really important factor in a car these days that you know has a lot of tech and has a lot of features. Genesis has really done a great job integrating it all and making it user friendly. I'm really impressed by this thing. It is, I think, just big enough uh, to serve your needs. There's not a lot of trunk space. There's not a lot of rear seat space, but it's enough. I think uh, you know if you need anything bigger, you should probably swing for a G80 or Know, get it or maybe you already have an SUV maybe you already have a larger vehicle this could serve your everyday needs I love the way this thing drives nothing else in Genesis's lineup ever has driven like this uh, that's really where you get your wins out of buying a G70 over the G80 or anything else this drives like a really nice sports sedan it's a pure experience behind the wheel the chassis tuning the, the you've seen the handling of this thing the way it combines comfort and fun to drive handling characteristics is, uh, is a really nice blend. And I think it's just really, really close to the M340i. You factor price in and it's a nose up. But if they were the same price, I would probably be slightly more inclined to the BMW just because it's that inline six it is such a sweet engine. 
maybe you, you know things are a little bit you get slightly better steering feel a little bit nicer space inside the interior this is almost kind of an in-between car between the ct4 v sport and the three series it's almost kind of sized between the two at least from my seat of the pants impressions one more entrance ramp it will hold gears in manual mode, which is nice. <laughs> I wonder how well this would hold up on track. When you get things loaded up, so you do get a little bit of steering feel through the wheel, through the chassis. The suspension stiffens up in Sport Plus mode, but not uncomfortably so. I can definitely feel some Albert Bierman influence in this car. I'm just really surprised. I haven't really chucked this thing around yet this week. Uh, really surprised at the handling on this. So, summing up the G70, great car, really, just, I can see why this is getting all the awards. I, I was just so disappointed in the two liter manual that I drove a couple years ago that I kind of wrote the G70 off, but you really need to drive this top trim to get the most out of it. I think if you're gonna get one of these, this is what you have to, to go for. Uh, it really makes the experience, it makes the car, and it's just such a well-rounded package. Great features, great integration of technology, really pretty fun to drive, comfortable, I think spacious enough. Um, this would be a really fun car to throw some winter tires on in uh, the cold months if you have cold weather where you live. And otherwise, it's just a fantastic daily driver. You get a good warranty dealership experience. I've heard good things. I've heard bad things. It does, does have the concierge service where they'll pick up and service your car from your house, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, that's about that's about all I have to say about the G70. I think that kind of sums, sums things up. been wanting to get behind the wheel of one of these 3.3 uh, twin turbos for quite a while, and I'm glad we finally did because this definitely has uh, kind of refreshed the image of this car in my mind. For 2022, they've made some great changes. Not going to miss the manual transmission. And uh, I love the design elements. Some of the tweaks that they've made to this car, uh, I think, look pretty good. As far as the grill goes, I think beauty's in the eye of the beholder. People love their big grills these days. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, this is a sharp car. It does attract a lot of attention. And I like that it's just kind of an alternative to the standard issue BMW 3 Series that everyone else has um, pretty compelling option all right guys that's it for this one that's all i've got to say thanks for watching if you want to stick around for the lexicon 15 speaker sound system test um stay tuned i'm gonna play that in a minute if not we'll walk you around this g70 one more time and uh, wrap up the video there thanks for watching guys this is a fun one Yeah, this Havana red color too is one of those colors that looks good in every scenario. It looks good in the shade, it looks good in overcast days, in the sun and light, it really pops, cleans up beautifully, it has a really nice metallic flake to it. As always, stay tuned to Winding Road Magazine's YouTube channel for more on this car. Charlie from Daily Motor will also be having his time behind the wheel. We also had the McLaren 720S this week, and I wouldn't be lying if I said that overshadowed this a little bit, but now that I've spent some time behind the wheel, good stuff. Good stuff from Genesis. Glad they're still making this car, and, 
And to be honest, their sedans drive so much better than their SUVs. I haven't driven the GV70 yet, but uh, very curious to see how that drives compared to this. But just from G80 to GV80 comparison, the G80 is such a nice car. And keep the sedan thing alive. All right, let's go in. We'll listen to our sound test playlist. Good things to say about this Lexicon audio system too. As always, great sound system. a sound system test than usual but it's a really nice unit genesis has always done a great job with their high-end lexicon systems and um, this is no exception all right guys thanks again for watching we'll see you in the next one take care